lawyers have been allegedly implicated in the hijacking of buildings in the city of Johannesburg. Investigations by the city shows that some are in cahoots with the deeds office, allowing for ownership of buildings to allegedly be changed. For more on this, we're joined now by Public Safety MMC, Dukhankwini Chwaku. MMC, good to have you, and thank you very much for coming on this evening. Firstly, are you running a parallel process to that one which is run by province? I mean, I believe you're running your own investigation into hijacked buildings. How different is, is it from the inquiry that the, the province has instituted? No, thank you very much, uh, Putavo. Look, I don't know what the province is doing because uh, remember, uh, when I came, when I came on the here on, on TV, um, I told them that the province does not consult us. They are running their own things. But yeah, we are another sphere of government. We have to take, uh, we have to be held accountable by our people because our people in the city of Johannesburg are asking us, what are you doing in terms of these, you know, the, the, these hijacker buildings? Are you making inroads in terms of finding out who are the people who are allegedly, let's say, um, you know, uh, hijacking these so we've got a um, the undercover units under you know the public safety. We've been uh, uh, inundated with calls and also emails, right. people who came forward and implicated some uh, lawyers. Yeah. One that we can be sure of that uh, um, is, is there's a there's a there's a lawyer that is uh, has hijacked, has worked with a syndicate to hijack uh, some of the flats at the Tafel, uh, at the Tafelberg, um, you know, uh, building. And the name of the guy is Jan de Bos. Apparently, this guy, uh, he has been working with the syndicates and also still have to confirm that uh, they are able to go to the deeds office or do something, manipulate some system where I'll be sitting at home and find out a building or a block of flats has been transferred on my name without my knowledge. That's why this syndicate, if, if you've heard, this syndicate has been rife in Soweto where people are sitting at their home and they find that their homes are sold out, are sold by people who don't even know. And people yeah. will, will, um, will show them, uh, you know, that their ownership of the flats or the, the homes. Yeah. They will also show them in terms of the court order for eviction and, then, and all those things. So we've been following it up. Uh, in the public safety, so I've been right. I've been briefed by the undercover unit right. about this modus operandi. It's too huge. Yeah, uh, it's very very huge, and uh, there are a number of lawyers. But we are getting a, a database. The others were on top of them. Others, when we call, they are non-existent. The others is the lawyers that were found by the legal. Uh, uh, um, what well, that's uh, that's that's that lawyers for South Africa. Uh, those ones who have been. Uh, actually, I want to be, actually been start of the the the, the, the role. Well, okay. we are working now on two buildings yeah. currently on Mr. Let, 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 let's face in that, uh, zero in a little bit on, on on what you're saying. So you've got the probe that is is going on, and that is is is, is instituted by the city. Is this a wide scale, broad investigation, or are you targeting specific? areas and specific buildings. What are the terms of reference of the probe? I'm going to come to the lawyers and I'm going to come to the officials in a moment. But I just okay. want to dig in deep a little bit on the probe. Basically, what we are doing is actually, um, it was, um, uh, it's coming from the Department of Public Safety. Um, and then also we're assisting the, the city, other departments because we, the, the, we actually had to know which, who are these people who have hijacked these, these buildings. Why are the rates not being paid to the city? Because when you go to those people, uh, uh, you find that they, have, they actually have bank accounts. Um, you know, they've got bank accounts and, and, and uh, bank accounts where they're actually paying these monies in. And people, they think that this money gets transferred. They, they, were, they are taken to the coffers of the city. Yeah. But that does not happen. So currently, uh, um, we are actually doing on the city alone. Yeah. We are looking at all those buildings which are hijacked right. um, and, and, and check in terms of uh, are the people paying rent, who are they paying it to, um, and then we, we, we actually look in terms of the ownership. Yeah. Are the people owning and or is it a sectional title and on all of that. Yeah. But all of that have been, have been linking us to the network that involves bogus lawyers. I see. And also allegedly people have been saying that they are able to get into the system right. where they are able to change ownership 
of buildings and ownership of actually housing. So, so that, that is what, what, what what's the relationship then? How are the lawyers able to have such authority and control over officials at the deeds office? No, I'm just saying that, um, you know, because you have to, at, at the end, it's, you see, where did these lawyers actually come in is now when they have to, you know, most you have these things of, of the conveyance and, you know, the transfer of, of, uh, of bonds and all those kind of stuff like that. So that's where these lawyers actually, you know, they, 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 they actually come in. And also these lawyers, um, they, they also uh, uh, go in in terms of the, they actually getting involved when individuals are staying in those flats or houses. It's happening in Soweto, by the way. It's, it's, no, it's a known fact. Uh, in, 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 people who are staying in those houses, remember, they must go to court. Yeah. So you actually go to court, and then those people, they can do, uh, you know, court orders. They, they can file, uh, you know, affidavits for them and all of that and be able to get, you know, the court orders. And then we've been saying, and also, we've been asking a question in terms of this investigation and the information that we are seeing is find that, uh, but why this is so efficient in yeah. terms of the high court as well. But, 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 but before yeah, we even because, get to the effectiveness no, of it, MMC, talk to me about yeah. that process. Are you saying these individuals are able to take over the ownership, yeah. for example, of government buildings? How, how does, how does when, an individual no, able to change the deeds, uh, uh, details of a government building, or are they only targeting private owners? It's it's uh, it's all buildings they can do on housing. There's a system that they were using. They can get into the system and and, and actually change. It is being done, but they, this is the work that is done nearby by our undercover unit. I don't want to reveal a lot because you want me just to reveal a lot to the town, you know, and you're gonna get me <laughs> seriously. But it is happening, man. It is happening. Everyone knows about it. You, I, I can be sitting. You can be sitting there, when in your studio, and I can I can actually use that system and manipulate it. And then when you wake up tomorrow, your house is owned by the Muslim. It's happening. And the, and, pro and, the, and the, pro the process <laughs> of changing back, is, is that a difficult process? I mean, if I know I own that property uh, and all of a sudden it has changed overnight, how difficult is it for me to rectify that? Look, to, to go back, we've, we've seen people going to court and then they, they have to produce proof. They have to produce all the race that they've been you know, uh, uh, been happening, and, and uh, surprisingly, these people, they've got all this documentary. Remember, when you're transferring, you must have, you know, a, a signature. So it's a long in, in, in investigation. Yeah. And also, we've seen that in many of these buildings, these people are working with bodyguards, and you know yeah. who they are. Yeah. They yeah. go with those bodyguards, and then you get threatened, and then you don't go to court, and then, and then obviously, it is alleged that the, 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 the court to reverse takes a very long time to a point that you just give up. Yeah. But to really go forward, yeah. um, I, I, I was asking, I, yeah. I asked the question. Yeah. I said, uh, there are so many things in court that I really want in terms of the GPVs and lots of things that needs to happen, criminal, you know, the, 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 you know, criminal, you know, the prosecutions, the court must sit and all of that. But uh, these syndicates are able to get these papers very quickly. And we, we, we've been asking a question, what is happening? So they, these units have been going in, asking questions. Yeah. There are people that can, what will reveal to you, that they will, other women, there's a woman called Miss Shelsey. I mean, she said, I can say her name. Her building uh, that she, in, she actually inherited from her husband was hijacked. Yeah. And it was, and the names were changed. Yeah. When she woke up, she was not owning. So Jan, Jan, is it Jan de Burrow? Or Jan de Berg, is he a practice? Jan de Boss. Jan, Jan de Boss. Jan de Boss. Jan de Boss. Is he yeah. a practicing lawyer? Well, we are. We, we got that information when we did a raid a week ago. So we are investigation in terms of is it still legal? We did uh, make a call. He doesn't pick up the the, the calls, um, and and then we want to check in terms of his practice number. We want to check him, and uh, and and also want to report him to. We want to report him to the legal board, you know. Yeah, those the legal practice that, council, yeah. because that was my next play, phase of question to say, well, if it's a lawyer that is rogue, as you're saying, then surely you must yeah. then report them to the legal practice council, who are the ones who are mandated yeah. to set the norms and standards of how yeah. uh, legal practitioners should, 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 should do their work. We are on top of them. We are, we're actually compiling the list. He is one of them, and there's a company now that is actually hijacked the building of Miss Shelsey, 
We are on top of that. We want when we go there and then present these people and then look at their integrity. Some of them, yeah. we have found out what is the people that were found uh, to be involved in criminal activity of hijacking a building. And I will, in the next one of these interviews, I will tell you, if you want me to go to that route of you guys also been talking about nationality and all of that, I'm going to now tell you what color. Yeah. And then you'll be very shocked. Let's talk then so about, ab ab about the officials. So at least you're doing something with the lawyers and you're going to be following that process as far as your investigations are concerned. How are you cleaning up the deeds office? Sorry, there? The deeds office where the officials oh. are collaborating with the lawyers. No, look, these are allegations which are, are coming in. Uh, um, um, uh, uh, you know, so, so we, we also have to study their system. We have to study a process. And, um, and, and, and we, we check if maybe the, 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 the process is not, you know, temper proof. But uh, those that are actually watching me and know these ones who are doing it, they know they are doing it. It is done. Uh, it, it's a known fact, uh, you know. So we, we are on top of it, but we have to get a proper report. And then, uh, and then maybe we, we can advise in terms of the, if the, the system of changing yeah. the, the ownership, is it, it is temper proof now so that, uh, the, the, the government I institutions yeah. can put, you know, the systems in place. For yeah. example, you, you, you are the government. I mean, you are the government. You are part yeah. of the government of the city of Johannesburg. You are yeah, saying yeah, yeah. somewhere, saying somehow, department. there is an irregular way of changing the details of individuals. So where you are sitting must, right yeah. now, are you able to say to us, as the city, you are able to stop this from happening? Or are you at a point where at this particular moment, you're also not able to stop this, or at least you're trying to investigate how to stop it. I'm saying that when I, when I brought up, when I, is that currently we are getting, a, well, these are the reports which have came in that have actually shocked us about how, how easy it is for people to change the, the, this ownership. So we are now studying the, the, these reports, and then wherever, wherever there's a leak, we remember any system that is developed, you can able to make it, you know, a, a, a temper-proof one. For example, Arto. Arto, Arto as well, is that we've got people who are who are um, currently in the in the, in the licensing uh, the, the department. I'm having a challenge where you found that the people can do transactions uh, of about four million to six million uh, while they are sitting somewhere in Chabulani somewhere. And then we've been saying that the, the system it must it must be strengthened and all of that. So you've got systems uh, that have been developed. By, by, you know, by the department to make life easy. But you find that criminals and thugs are able to get into the system and, able, you know, they, they can do what is called a cyber, uh, uh, you know, a, a crime. They're able to get into the system. They're able to do, you know, the, the transaction. So this problem also I'm experiencing in, in, the, in the licensing. Yeah. And we've been saying that Arto, uh, the system of Arto, the guy that must come on board, it's an innate system. Yeah, it's, a, it's an innate system, yeah. The innate system. So... So you've got those kind of a loopholes that to, the, 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 we, we must be able to say, they, here's a, a leak, then we must actually, you know, must be able one or two to close it. But we are starting the, the report to check about how these people are, are managing physical or practical to change a name of Mudini to Tabo so that we can advise when we go to that department and say, look, this is what you need to do. Remember, I'm in the public safety. Yes, I yes, must ensure yes. that the safety you know, and all those kind of stuff like that. So we are starting that. But uh, people, they know that it is happening. People in Soweto, when you're sitting in your house, that's when you find that people are, people about Haibo, my house, it has been sold. They don't even know why it was sold because it was sold at the, at the back. You know, yeah, they just yeah. wake rather, up. Rather unfortunately and, and concerning. But MMC, let me thank you for yeah. your time. Thank you very much for coming on. Dr. Mkini Chwaku, the MMC for public safety in the city of Johannesburg.